Another missing number in the jungle. Turned up with nothing but a loincloth to protect your tender penis from what's danger in the wildlife. Your human nose making the least of all scent. Gone dumb to the dynamics of clean air. Your bare feet cringing across the unkept forest floor. Minutes ago, you'd been licking brass knuckle and soaking up satellite feed, being crowned this year's Champion King, looking good, bad, after a beautiful thing. Big winner of the only and annual serious, serious guts competition. Sponsored in part, of course, by the pain reliever people and the heads of music television. Yes, you and ten other tough guys slit smiles across your then perfectly sturdy stomachs and spread your large intestines boldly out across a coated white poker table. The starter pistol barked, and each contestant commenced. To carefully comb their own eager entrails from behind the one-way wall of mirrored eyewear, every one a hopeful, breathing heavy, sifting through their mortal coil with their fingertips, for the most intimidating lengths of well-sculpted and prime-time stomach lengths. Every so often, in the name of health, an executioner cap usher struts about the gut-covered table, misting everyone's exposed and heaving organs with a modified and fancy water pistol. As always, this year's celebrity judges are only of the most incredible persuasion. Charles Bronson's angry and gay only daughter, Ice Cube back from when he was hard, and a framed 8x10 of Joe Namath's kneecaps. And, because you won, they stitch up your open abdomen first, gave you a nice Rambo knife, some choice cigarettes, and cut you loose in the Ozarks. The question being not if, but when, you will kill for your next meal. And besides, you've never gone missing before. In one month's time, they anticipate your turning up in the lap of the Lincoln Memorial, wearing the stripped and cured flesh of another white rapper, lovers and mothers, the last thing on your mind, raw and reborn in the kill as the red carpets go wild. The Vice magazine people, serving up a hard bucket of the most happening blood, Feeding a spit-roast pig in your honor, kissing the wind, calling you boss. Their phantom hearts, clinking, half-empty, in the leftover and once-humored, still arrogant air.